Hello, everybody. It's a city mad heaven. Ad mad. Ad ad adamad. Adamad here. Okay. Um. Yeah. The English today, as you guys can tell, completely off. Not worried about it because, well, it's not as off as um. The EBR seventy five, mil nineteen fifty four. Originally, I was actually kind of scared about these light tanks being added to the game. Um, but after playing a couple of matches inside this gargantuan POS, um, high explosives, they're scary. Uh, 260 alpha, they're a little scary. 75 millimeter, millimeter uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to eat my sandwich. Yeah, they're bad. They, dude, I was, I was, I was scared of these things getting added to the game. Um, they are so bad that it, they can't even drive through a city at all. Uh, traverse speed 66, um, it doesn't matter. Aim time, it's got a fantastic gun, 1.2 seconds. I've, I actually don't mind the gun, like 180 standard pin, 220 premium pin. I don't mind the gun. If this gun was on any other tank, this would be an amazing gun. But no, it's on the EBRs, and they're absolutely horrible. They're so bad that whenever you turn, okay, like you take your thumbstick and you do a slight little turn, you know, like when if you're playing a racing game, um, they go, or they don't turn at all because you're going slow. It makes no sense because you see your wheels deviate hardcore and then you turn like one degree until you hit a certain speed so these things they it's extremely hard to re-coordinate your movements and if you guys are struggling to verse these tanks go to a city they literally can't fight in the city i have tried in the four matches five six seven matches i've played inside this tank um, I'm, as you guys can tell, I was not ready for this today. I just felt like letting you guys know, hey, these things are horrible. They are so bad. And I'm, I'm going to have to, I'm, I'm going to make a rant video whenever I get home about a couple of things, just because I'm getting irritated with the things that they're doing. I don't want to share any of it right now. Okay, in the six battles that I've played, I have a 50% win rate, um, damage cause ratio of 1.9, KD of 2, average of 2,000. Um, don't get me wrong, first class mastery badge, it's not a, it's not a, it's not an ace, it's a first class, top 95%. Thing is, is that over the last 90 days, we have... Uh, 5,400. Thing is, how are you having a rating? And I don't have a rating. That makes no sense. I don't think this is, uh, legitimate. Damage ratio, 3.0. Maybe they're staying super far away from combat. It's got horrible view range to combine with that. Just really, really hard to maneuver in. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe after I invest, like, 40, 50 matches inside this tank, I might be a master at it. Because it's uncontrollable. Okay. Ah. They're they're not fun though. They are definitely not fun tanks in the slightest. So starting off, we're gonna turn. Um I don't think I'm turning at the rate that the wheels are focused on. Alright. As we're going, keep in mind I did relink my drive mode right there. Because for me, it's just, it's not, I don't have to move my thumb off of my thumbstick. I can keep it on. And I've been, I've just been trying. Look at this. Look at the wheels. Look at how much they turn. You're not even turning that much. However, clutch braking inside these things. Ooh. You can just pull a 180, call it good. But they're just, they fill 
super, super horrible. Don't get me wrong, like they got mobility out of every single port, but the second that you come to a stop, and there we go, you just lost all your power. And these things are apparently up to, what did the power to weight say? 36, and that's in regular mobility mode. Um, 35 horsepower to ton. That's a lot of horsepower to ton. Yet, these things, it just fills. Look at that, it's just a sudden drop. Like, we're still going 40. Dude, I'm sorry, you guys. I have, I just, these things fill uncontrollable. Okay, we'll do a slight tap. I'm barely holding in the thumbstick, keep in mind, barely. Barely holding, it just goes full, full, full rotation. That's all it is. Barely tapping it. And the whole, the whole thing is just like, we're gonna go 100%, like I, I mentioned that in the community tab. And if, if they were to remove that aspect and make it to where it's like, oh, you're barely pressing it, oh, we're, we're barely gonna turn for you, because that is how it should be. And then there we go, there's no tracks in these, they get the wheels hit. And I mean, like, the wheels really hit. Holy crap. 40? That doesn't feel like 40. I mean, probably because I'm instead of a light tank and the thing's a lot smaller than normal. But, dude, these things... Yeah, I was worried for nothing. Leave it to, um, console to bring in something that's extremely overpowered over on PC. And to, uh... Make it below average. It's kind of funny to say that. Their view range is lacking. And it's kind of funny. I didn't realize how... Uh, no, I've always known how um, valuable view range is. That's an LTG. Like, you can get your still concealment on these pretty decent. But overall, the still concealment doesn't mean a whole lot. Just because people, they can boost their view range by so much to be able to just out view you entirely. And there's one of the advantages of this tank. I was able to get in there... Just maneuver around like a madman and leave. The aim time at 1.12. Dispersion value of the gun. And then we're able to bump it up so much. This thing has got a gun that almost never misses in close quarters either. Or even mid-range just because we have all these accuracy perks. We have these bonuses that we can do to aim time. And yeah, it... it Almost every single shot lands kind of where you're aiming it. It doesn't mean that it's always going to land. It just means it's pretty consistent. And there we go. Wow. Don't get me wrong. Like, in an open field, these things do extremely good. But the second that you put them into a... Um... Oh, there's another thing. Once you enter drive mode, your um, accuracy of your gun just goes... Blah. I saw that by activating it. Well, learn something new by playing it live. But these things, yeah, I am just not a big fan of them at all. I mean, even though I'm the 3600 assisted. Oh, they're, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It happened finally. Okay, finally. Look at the minimap. Look at the view range. Um, keep in mind, I did the math on this yesterday. It is 507 meters of view range with last stand. And yeah, good luck getting away from one of these things in low health. And the only thing they want to do is spin in circles all day. Okay. Low health, low health. You, you know how it goes when you're low health. You go as hard as you can, but no, like there we go. That's going to be really nice. The high explosives on these, they are devastating, though. I am not going to deny these HE rounds, ever. And this is in reverse, by the way. And drive mode? Thank you. Back into regular traverse mode, because you have the two modes. Which can be extremely confusing. And we're gonna die, but... Decent game. Decent game. Plus, this is the last one before me to leave to go to work. Because I get on during the morning, I put a few matches in, 
um, just because, you know, server maintenance hits, and I usually, whenever I'm on day shift, I'll wake up um, right as server maintenance starts, which is 3 a.m. my time. I'll take a shower, I'll make my lunch for the day, and then I'll jump on and play a few matches, log on, and yeah, that's kind of how it goes. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and just pause this, wait for the end, and then start it up again, but these tanks, I don't recommend them in the slightest. Okay, so the planets aligned, the stars aligned, whatever you want to say. They aligned. Um, good game. Good game. 6,000 combined. Keep in mind, this is the only good game I had inside this tank. I have not... And then look at that. Second class mastery. Not even a first. And the first class was in a game much worse than this. Way worse. Um, just these things like, sure, people can perform good inside these tanks. However, their mobility, the way that they move, everything on top of it, they're just not good at all. They, you cannot fight in a city because for one, whenever you try to turn, it's a hundred percent or it's none. You, you literally cannot control it otherwise. And the way our city maps are put together, there's way too much rubble in the road. So you're going to hit a stump and you're going to go, well, I'm sideways. Or you're going to straight up kill yourself. Um, EBRs, I was scared at first. Um, after playing this one, yeah, I'm not scared. Their movements are going to be very predictable because... If, if somebody found a way to make it to where they can do 50% on the turn, which is by activating speed mode, which slows you down for a split second and then engages it, then you go fast. The only thing is, though, is that you have like another three second delay before you can turn it off. So you're, you turn it on. Now you can't turn. The only thing you can do is come to a complete dead stop, slam on reverse and hope no one hits you. Um, the wheels, don't get me wrong. These things have baited a lot of shots. I would, I did pull into a city. I did bait shots into my wills. Thing is, I doubt whenever I see these things in a city, I'm going to be aiming for the hull. I'm actually going to be aiming for the middle of the tank entirely at the turret. Because if you aim at the hull at all, you risk like a 50-50 of just hitting wills, going through them, doing no damage, or literally, I mean, yeah. There's a lot of additional armor on these that aren't even there. So, for instance, you have the uh, fenders that don't exist. So, keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I don't recommend these. I'm going to be making a rant video because I'm irritated by a couple of things. Uh, let me give you guys an idea. I have 60,000 gold. Uh, 1 million can, like, free XP right now. So, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for the 10s to come out. Because I'm not going to free XP them and go crazy with it. But thing is, I don't think I want to. I think I want to wait for somebody else to do it and then find out if it's even worth the investment. If not, I'll get a Rosarante and just diss on that tank, even though I really want it to be good. Um, other than that, you guys have a fantastic day, night, whatever time it is for you. I do not recommend buying any of the EBRs because they just, yeah, they weren't ready to be introduced into the game. And they're really, really, really bad. Fantastic gun, horrible tank. Fantastic gun, horrible tank.